Welcome to the Handed Down Kitchen, where we bring antique recipes out of the past and back into the kitchen. Today we're going to introduce you to the oldest of our interwar cookbooks, the Best Way Cookery Gift Book, which was published in 1928. We're going to briefly tell you what we know about this book before following the video with three recipes from it, from a chocolate pudding with marshmallow sauce, to American golden buck toast, and old-fashioned toffee apples. Starting with some background, this book was published in 1928 in London. The reigning monarch was King George V, who had by now reigned for 19 years, and the Prime Minister was now the Conservative Stanley Baldwin, who was serving his second of three terms that he would go on to serve overall as Prime Minister. As was the case for so many countries, over here the 1920s was a decade of contrasts. The debts incurred by Britain's involvement in the First World War triggered the beginning of a long economic depression that would explode into the Great Slump in 1929, and this lasted through the 1930s. So for many, the 1920s was a very difficult time, particularly for soldiers and the families of soldiers who had returned from war injured and were unable to find work. Unemployment skyrocketed, which saw the creation of the Unemployment Insurance Act in 1920, and this was the true beginning of the country's existing welfare benefits system. For many people, it was a time of immense struggle. At the same time, it was also a decade of change. The interwar period saw a fantastic explosion in home building on the back of the Homes Fit for Heroes campaign, and new government policies and acts would push councils and developers to build new homes in replacement of Victorian slums at a rate to satisfy the housing needs of that area. And if it wasn't good enough that there were masses of new homes going up, replacing slums and creating whole new suburbs, these were high quality homes, sturdily built with water heating systems, large green gardens and indoor toilets as standard features, many in the new Art Deco style. But what made the 1920s really exciting was that it saw the dawn of a new culture of entertainment and nightlife. Grand new picture houses or cinemas were going up everywhere as going out to the pictures was becoming an increasingly popular pastime. In fact, it was in 1927, the year before our book was published, that The Jazz Singer was released, the first talking picture film that would transform cinema forever. Women, now newly able to vote, were enjoying a new level of political, social and financial freedom. Decadent cocktail bars, jazz clubs and nightclubs started popping up in the capital and major centres. Things were getting more colourful, sparklier and easygoing overall. The Best Way Cookery gift books were a product of the Best Way series, which published magazines, leaflets, books and patterns for all sorts of things from cookery to cross-stitch. They were a product of the Amalgamated Press, one of the biggest publishers of the day. The Amalgamated Press was based at the huge Fleetway House in London's Farringdon Road and would later be acquired by the Mirror Publishing Group. The best way publications were, as the name suggests, supposed to teach you the very best way to make things, be they a new dress or a block of puff pastry. So having painted a picture of the decade and the background of this book, let's show you some more of it. Here it is, our book with its cover of red cloth and black writing, claiming to contain all the important details that other cookery books leave out. At the beginning we have this faded ink inscription naming a previous owner, E.M. Hardy, 1929. Moving on to the title page, right away you can see that this book is going to be one that's full of colour and pictures. The publisher's details, the amalgamated press, are in the bottom left-hand corner of the title page, under this photo of a glamorous young cook who seems to be spooning flour into a pudding basin, and in the opposite bottom corner there is text that clarifies what sets this book apart from the others. It says, The best way recipes in this book will help you to make delightfully unusual dishes, inexpensively, quickly, easily, and all the information you'll need to make your meals enticing is contained in this book. No further introduction is given, we then dive straight into the recipes, which follow the typical chapter format for a cookbook of this age. 
We start with soups, with a lot of interesting recipes from the familiar cabbage soup, to banana soup from Antigua, and fruit soup from Norway, before moving on to fish dishes, all of which that we've tried so far have been delicious, game and poultry dishes, then meat dishes with noticeably less mutton than our older cookbooks and more pork and beef, followed by a chapter on vegetables, and then salads. As you can see, almost every recipe has a black and white photo to go with it. It's the oldest book of our collection with actual photographs of the dishes. The next half of the book sweetens up with chapters on pastry, hot sweets which are either dainty or wholesome, and cold sweets for summer days and Sunday night suppers. Up to this point, almost all of the chapters have been dedicated to meals that would make up the courses of quite a big dinner. Now the book moves on to a few chapters on smaller dishes suitable for little meals or tea time treats, including chapters for supper dishes and savouries, bread rolls and scones, small cakes and large cakes, including this impressive looking Christmas cake decorated with crackers and a figure of Father Christmas. Next is sweets and candies, followed by ice cream sundaes, and a final chapter which is just one page on fruit cocktails. And then finally we have our index. So far the recipes that we've already tried, tested and filmed from this book are iced cherry cake, pumpkin pie, and Christmas log cake. In our next three videos, we'll be showing you how we brought three more recipes from this book back to life, including chocolate puddings with marshmallow sauce, American golden buck toast, and old fashioned toffee apples. In the meantime, you can check out the recipes we've already tried and tested from this cookbook on our channel. We hope you enjoyed this video, if so please leave us a like, and if you'd like to see more about our collection of antique cookbooks and watch us recreate the recipes from them, be sure to subscribe to our channel.